Praise the Lord, my daily Bible study friends. You know, Proverbs 28 and 4 says, They that forsake the law praise the wicked. The such as keep the law contend with them. Let's take a look at that scripture. Praise the Lord, my friends. Uh, Proverbs has always been one of my favorite books. Um, what I call, it has what I like to call opposite attractives. And what that means to me is the, the Bible in the book of Proverbs is very, very often balancing scriptures. Many times it balances the opposite with, uh, with its opposite. But by seeing it together, it's like looking at a mirror that goes deeper and deeper. It's part of the, the deep wisdom in the book of Proverbs. And I believe our scripture kind of illustrates this. Let's take a look at it. They that forsake the law praise the wicked, <clears throat> but such as keep the law contend with them. So the first part of the scripture, the first part of the four-part scripture, is they that forsake the law praise the wicked. So we have the forsaking of the law and the praising of the wicked. It ties these things together. They that forsake the law are actually praising the wicked. They're saying that the wicked is better than the things of God. But then the Bible goes on to say on the second balance of it, but such as keep the law, contend with them. If you simply keep the laws of God, you're going to have enemies in the world, especially enemies in the spiritual world. Amen. Let's take a look at that scripture in its total and see if these pieces kind of add up. It says, they that forsake the law praise the wicked, but such as keep the law contend with them. Amen. When you, when you are forsaking God's law, you're actually giving power to the enemy. You're saying without words that you trust the wicked and the ways of the wicked more than you trust the Lord God and the ways of God. So when you do that, you are actually praising the wicked when you forsake the law of God. Then the Bible says, but such as keep the law, contend with them. On the other hand, when you keep the law, whether you're just trying to be obedient by prayer, whether you're being obedient by the word of God, you are contending in the world against the wicked. For the wicked will will uh, come against you in, in, the, in the spirit and in the flesh. And you'll see this happening. The Bible says, for all that, living, that are living godly in Christ will suffer persecution. Amen. So when we decide we're going to live for God, then we have to understand that there will be conflict in our life. <laughs> you say, well, I just won't serve God. I, I just won't do it. Well, the point is, if you don't, if you forsake the law, you do uh, praise the wicked. There's no neutral territory in this spiritual battle. And let me just say that one more time. There is no neutral territory. There's no neutral ground. Either you're with him or you're against him. Either you fight with him or you fight against him. That's the that's the, the way it is. That's the way it's laid out. And that's the way the scripture says. And once again, in the book of Proverbs, let's take a look at Proverbs 28 and 4. They that forsake the law praise the wicked, but such as keep the law contend with them. Oh, I'm not picking a fight. I'm not out to get a fight. But when I make choices for God, or for the world. It makes no difference. There's going to be contention in this world as long as there's sin. Well, may God keep you. I hope that that simple word will be a blessing to you, and I hope that you would share it with somebody else, or at least meditate on it today. May God keep you as you do your work today. May the angels of God watch over you in Jesus' name. <laughs>